Well, hey guys, welcome back to Waters Family Homestead. Well, as y'all can see, there's a wine dot in the nest and the turkey wants in. So probably to lay an egg, I don't know. I didn't make the wine dot get up, but I know there was eggs under her. So I don't know if she's trying to lay an egg or trying to hatch eggs, you know, incubate. But the brown turkey there has been a bad girl. The five baby chicks are doing well. And I've let her out the last couple of days for, you know, 30 minutes to an hour and then let her back in. So I got home today and my brown hen, chicken, that hatched these last three was up under the little ramp there at the nest. So I pulled her out to look because I only saw two baby chicks. And the whole back of her head is bloody where the brown turkey hen has beat her up. It's the only thing that could have done it. Nothing else in there with her but the babies. So, and she kind of stayed in the corner yesterday, but I didn't see any injury to her. So the brown turkey hen beat up and tried to kill my mama hen over here which I'm not going to tolerate. So I got her and I let her out with the rest of them and she's not going back in. Those five baby chicks are three and a half weeks old. They, uh, they should make it. I'm hoping the other hen will incubate them, you know, take care of them, but I'm not letting the brown turkey hen back in there. Her chicks are old enough. They should make it as warm as the weather is. And, uh, even if the other hen, you know, the chicken doesn't help them, but I am not letting her kill a hen. That, that's not going to happen. So, And the babies couldn't have done the damage on her head. So luckily, it's just looks like all surface wounds. She didn't get actually to the brain. I've seen chickens get pecked to the brain and it kill them. So she's going to pout because I'm not letting her back in there. And one of the baby chicks actually got through the fence at the waterer and was in this first pen when I got home a little while ago. Or when I came out here, actually. I've been home for a little bit. But, um, so I caught it and put it back in there. And that's when I saw my, my ch hen, my chicken, with the issues on her head. So, the brown hen is done. I'm not going to let her kill any chickens. But what I've done is there's only nine, actually seven, seven hens and Sue in this last pen since, since the one hen is in here with the baby chicks. And they're not keeping up with the grass in the fruit orchard. But as you can see, let me zoom out. They're not letting this grass grow at all because there's... Uh, two turkeys and a rooster that's three and 13 hens so there's 16 over on this side du just about double actually it is double um on this side of the run all the time and when i get a rain if i lock them up grass starts popping up through the ground but we haven't had a rain in a few days and they're, they've just cleaned this and kept it that way. So I let I locked the Rhode Island Reds up last night and left the fence open. So the Blue Orphans, the Wyandots, and the Turkeys, and Junior, could come over here and uh, graze some of this grass down. Because I, I took my manual mower in there yesterday and cut a little bit of it. But uh, there's plenty of grass for them to graze on and insects to catch and all. So I'm gonna let them take care of this end for a little bit. And they'll spend most of their time here on their own just because there's grass and there's not any at the other end. So hopefully this will give the other side of the chicken run a chance to sprout some grass and grow. And I'm gonna do this for a few days. Now I may lock them back on their side for a day and give let the Rhode Island Reds out, you know, to get some yard time 
but for the most part I'm gonna leave it like this and see if they can knock this grass down a little bit and uh, give their side a break but that brown turkey hen that that really surprised me to find my chicken hen injured the way she is but as soon as I got her out of there the brown turkey hen got up and went to the waterer with her ba her three baby chicks and uh, she's moving around so I'm hoping that's a good sign but either way not the best news in the world but at least I caught it before hopefully it got life-threatening so guys um, I did a, a video that I was going to post and I, I always listen to them and watch them bef you know the night before I upload them because I upload from work and I figured they would get a lot of my blueberries when I put them over here, which they're doing. But uh, I did a video, and I'll be honest with you, I was ticked off at YouTube because I know they play with my subscriptions. And, uh, you know, my daughter has a channel, and she hasn't even posted a video in two or three months. And she's gained more subscribers than I have in that time frame. And, uh, I mean, she, she hadn't got but a few videos as it is, but <laughs> I got aggravated with them. We, we made it up to 370, and then it dropped down the next morning to 369, stayed there for a day, and it went back to 370. And then it, it stayed there overnight. The next day, it went back down to 369. That evening, went back down to 368. That night, it went back down to 367. Uh, Stayed there for a few days, and then it went back up to 368. Or, I'm sorry, 568. But, um, I know they're playing with it. There's no way. As many videos as I make, and as many people that watch my videos... There's no way that I'm, the channel's not growing better than what it's growing. Uh, I ain't got the best content in the world, but I've got some loyal followers. And, and uh, you know, looking at the analytics, very few people are finding it on suggested videos, which tells me YouTube's not suggesting it. But uh, I was a little irritated, and I said a few things on there that I probably didn't want to do. So I deleted that video and decided I'd try to make another one today. And then, of course, I get home to the, the hen that's been attacked. So, I'm going to go over part of what I had in that other video. I spent several hours on, the, on my tractor now that I've got it running right. And I've been working on clearing this fence line. And as you see, I've pushed a lot of that Privian mess back. I've got it cleared where I can run T-posts and the fence and all all but those two tree trunks right there and i'm not 100 percent sure they're going to be in the way um they probably will be because i think the fence actually grew that th this first tree actually grew through the fence the, the old old fence but uh it's too big for me to push with the tractor so I'm going to have to get the chainsaw out and cut these two down and push them back out of the way. And then I'll be ready to start driving in T-posts and running the fence down this side. So it's only about 75 yards. Mm, it's not It's not 100. It's probably 75 yards. Um, so we're going to start up here at the corner and run across to that post. And come down behind this tree. That tree grew the, through the fence. And we're going to go around it and then back down to the old fence line inside that privy back there. Now, I'm not going to push all that down because that fence in the back is actually in better shape than this front stuff was. It's, I mean, it's, it's bad, but it could be fixed. So I'm just going to match up to an existing fence line there. And then I'm going to run it across even with the other side of this chicken run to a post and come up to another post and then to that post and put a gate right there. And the fence is going to go up against this chicken fence across 
all the way back up to the corner of the building and then it's going to pick back up at that end of the building and go up back up to the corner so that's going to be the goat pen um i've got all the t-posts i need i've got all the fence i need what i've got to do is get some the st straps whatever you call them to attach the fence to the t-post and i've got to get some fence nails to nail to the wood post and I've got to get some concrete to pour in the holes where the wood posts are going to be. So, But I've got the post. I've got the fence. I've got the T-post. So I'm, I'm working on it. It's, you know, just being by myself, y'all, it takes a little while. But I really don't think I'm going to finish this goat pen until next year. Because I can't afford to buy... I can't afford to buy the metal for the roof over their shelter even though I can get everything else done, it won't have a roof on it. And goats, most goats don't like to get wet. They want a shelter. And uh, I'm gonna move my dog down here. Now that'd be easy. I could move my dog house down here inside the fence and he'd have his dog house. But uh, either way, it's probably gonna be next year before I finish. And get, hopefully we get a new president and uh the price of that metal will come down because it is more than three times as the price it was last year and uh i just i can't spend 400 well i've been saying 350 but i was actually figuring it up i need about three sheets for my classroom on the range where tree limb hit and damaged that roof and i need 12 sheets up here so that's going to put me closer to the 450 mark maybe a little over that with uh with the tax so anyway all the other chickens and turkeys seem to be doing well it's just i was really disappointed in that turkey of of a you know beating up that hen now it could be could be something that she you know felt threatened to, to the baby chicks and she was just picking on her i don't know but that's never happened before so had to get her out of there. She's going to stay out. I need to go in there and fix the little fence that's keeping the baby chicks from going through the waterer to the other side. And uh, <laughs> keep them from getting out so that the, you know, the other adult chickens and all don't kill the babies. But either way, guys, I appreciate you watching the videos. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for subscribing thank you for the comments all that helps my channel grow although it's going to be slow because youtube will not help a constitutional conservative they don't help many homestead channels period that stick to their values and i'm not willing to give up my faith and my values to make youtube or anybody else happy i am who i am i let them live their life they need to let me live mine but I'm not giving up on my channel. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. And I'm going to keep putting out content. And if it takes me 10 years to get this thing up to 5,000 subscribers or, or 20 years, if I'm alive, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. And I'm going to get to my goal, which is 5,000. I've been doing this for almost three years now. And I, I've, I've got other channels that do the same type of content that have only been on YouTube for three to six months that's got double the subscribers that I do. So I know it's because I ticked somebody off at YouTube with my gun videos that I used to have on here and stuff, which was cr stupid because they were single shot, single action revolvers 22 22 revolvers what old people call the the old people call the cowboy action you have to pull the hammer back every time to fire it you know and i had some a video that had way over twenty thousand views that was over a year old and they gave me a, a warning about it so I appealed it, and they instantly turned that down. And now I can't even comment about it. I can't talk to anybody about it. So to heck with them. I, I took all those videos out 
off my channel and I posted them on Rumble. Rumble doesn't have near the people to watch videos to help your channel grow that YouTube does. It's just a plain simple fact. So I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. I believe God's going to take care of those that is right. Am I, am I perfect? No, not by any means whatsoever. But I'm not going to give up when I know morally I'm doing what's right. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you have not done so, please subscribe to the channel. You know, and if, if, if I'm not 100% your cup of tea, I understand that. Don't ring the notification bell. Just subscribe and watch the videos, the ones that you want to watch. I appreciate each and every one of you. Y'all remember what I always tell you. Jesus Christ loves you, and so do I. Y'all be safe. Be prepared.